I went off and did it, y'all. I built a Rescue Ace deck. Now, it does have a little bit of spice in it for a similar build that I'm used to or my preference as it is a machine deck. So keep that in mind. Really quick, y'all, the Master Duel Masochist series is up. It's not doing very well, so please do me a favor, y'all. Go out and watch it. I'll link it in the description down below. It's episode one. Now, the fire effect will be removed after episode three because I already have three episodes done. So on episode four, that fire effect will go away. So I apologize for that. I've gotten a lot of comments saying get rid of it so i will anyways y'all rescue ace with a little bit of spice it's not pure rescue ace but this is how it's been performing now from diamond five to master five we used abc super heavy and that's what got us um to master five and then with this rescue ace deck here as you can see as soon as we got to master five we've won two lost one 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 two three four five six in a row lost one and then one another three in a row this deck is nuts this deck is crazy it, it literally free wins i've also never won so many coin tosses in my life until i built this deck um i did spend 16 dollars 99 on the gems um maybe that's why i'm winning the coin tosses i don't know but what we're gonna do is i'm gonna take you for i believe it's three live matches um and then one replay and then we'll go over the deck list at the end of the video guys please like comment subscribe let's get into the video all righty y'all let's go ahead and get into a live match here my name is still iron mike i'm working on a video with ai and i haven't changed my name so stay tuned for that video y'all uh hopefully y'all like it hopefully my uh my humor is uh, at least somewhat y'all's humor but we won the coin toss so we're gonna get to go first here all right i like our hand it's not uh it's not the best hand but it's a hand so um we're gonna go ahead and play emergency yeah we're gonna do the hydrant here uh, we're going to go ahead and send uh, our boss monster. We'll activate the hydrant here. And we're going to go with Preventer. Just because Rescue can bring back our boss monster. Oh, they got something. Oh, it might be a droll. I got it called by the grave. So um, we can definitely... I mean, I don't... <sighs> yeah, let's go ahead and call by the grave it. I don't think they also have Maxi. I don't think they also have Maxi. I really, I really could have played around this. Um, and I actually got Preventer, but I want to bring back Turbulence. All right, we're going to go ahead and go Rescue. We're going to go ahead and bring Turbulence out. We'll be able to set our cards now. So let's set them. Emergency. Our Trap card. Extinguish, that's what it's called. Contain. And rescue again. Alright, now we've activated two of these. So unfortunately, I'm going to have to choose what I want to keep here in my uh, in my last uh, spawn trap card zone. Because the combo we're about to do is going to be a little different. So uh, we're going to go ahead and activate this. We're going to be able to send rescue. Or emergency. I think we'll do rescue because emergency has follow up. Um, so we'll do this. We want to do Borg blocker. So let's go ahead and do Borg blocker. And let's go ahead and do these two. Rescue can bring back one for, so that our trap cards are alive again. So, all right. Then we're going to go ahead and go into Auroradon. Because they're all machines. If you're not playing Aurora Dawn in an all machine deck, I don't know. I don't know. So here though, we're gonna only take we're gonna take advantage of one slot though. Like for example, we could have Imperm, but unfortunately we're gonna have to give up the Imperm. We'll activate this. We're gonna go ahead and keep our Link Monster. Because I mean we're gonna go oh, we could have kept our Link Monster actually. I made a mistake there. I wanted to keep the Link Monster, that was my bad. All right, we're going to go ahead and do this because I do prefer to have the Yang Zing trap card face down uh, versus the Imperm. It's just going to be better. So we'll activate this. We're not going to activate the token because we have no need for it. Uh, we'll bring back or we'll get the nine pillars. Nine pillars is going to be stronger than the Imperm. So uh, and then we can't afford to have anything in our spell and trap card here. So we can't go Boral Load. So we're going to go Barone and we'll have an extra Omni Negate on top of everything we're going to have face down here. So on top of everything we're going to have face down, we're going to have two Omni Negates. This is huge. This is this board is disgusting. 
And if we we had already used one of our if we had already used one of our cards, we could have actually had an imperm as well. But again, we had to pick because we only have one spot left in our zones here. So um, y'all look at this board, y'all. We have nastiness here. We have so much. Now we'll just have to play through whatever the opponent has. Now if they have, you know, um. Oh shoot! I didn't want to activate that. Ah, uh, that's the only thing is now we gotta be wor now we gotta worry about a. Now we actually got to... Actually, I could just destroy it. I'm going to do that. I'm going to just destroy it here. I didn't mean to do that. All right. So two Omni Negates. One returns to the deck. We have Contain. We have Extinguish. We have the Rescue so that we bring back the Hydrant. And then we have Emergency as a worst case scenario here. So we're going to go ahead and activate the Rescue already. We're going to activate the Rescue already. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and bring back the uh, extinguisher. Oh, they have something. Oh, interesting. Okay. Uh, I, well, I, I can't let this go through. So I will have to negate this. So we're going to negate it. All right. We went ahead and negated it. And then we're able to bring back our extinguisher. And now our two our two trap cards are, are, are live. I could actually bring something back, too, because Barone is negated already. Let's activate it. We're going to go ahead and get rid of Barone, too. Why not? Yeah, we're going to go ahead and bring back... Uh, what's his name? Preventer? Yeah. All right. And now we have an extra effect here. Let's see what the opponent does here. Ooh. Okay, now here's kind of where I want to... Because they can get Lava Golem here. We don't want to risk them getting a Lava Golem. I don't. I'm not going to risk them getting a Lava Golem. So they have three cards left in their hand. Alright. Um, here's where I could flip it face down. We're going to activate it and we're going to go ahead and flip it face down. So it's face down now. And that's it, guys. I mean, this this deck is pretty crazy. This deck is pretty crazy. All right. So I think what we'll do is we'll actually just do one more live match. One replay, then the deck list. We actually won the coin toss again. Let's go, baby. Um, I think it'll be better. Instead of just doing the replays, I kind of live to show you, you know, kind of what we're doing as we're doing it. So we won the coin toss again. So we just win, I guess. Ooh, this time we opened pretty good. This is actually extremely good, y'all. We're going to get to go full combo here if we don't. Now, if they have max C, we're kind of stuck, but we'll find out. Okay, they definitely have a max C. Um, let's activate this. There's the max C. Unfor unfortunately, they have a max C. That's so cringe. So cringe. All right, let me think what I want to do here because of the maxi. Yeah, I think we do this. We'll activate it. Now, Preventer will be normal summoned. Preventer will be normal summoned. Let me think. Okay, so what we'll do is, yeah, I was thinking of just doing the unicorn and then having one banish the unicorn effect plus the banish three, but we're going to go ahead and normal summon... Um, lifter here did i say preventer we're gonna summon lifter here we're gonna go ahead and get the emergency and i wish emergency was in my hand but it is what it is we'll activate the emergency and we're gonna get our boss monster and at least we'll get to set four here they get to draw one and we'll have a set four uh we'll have a set four and a banish I'm kind of happy with this. So, I'm okay with this. Kind of wish I had the Hydrant, but... It is what it is. This will just have to do. Actually, we can have the Hydrant if we want. Okay. This will have to do for now. So hopefully it's enough. We got to banish. We can banish three from the grave. And we have a set four in the back. So um, if we want, we could get a hydrant out. This isn't a bad board. 
All right, they're gonna be able to search. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait. Let's see what the, let's see what it is they search. Okay, they have rescue ace as well. I think we go ahead and get the hydrant, right? So we're gonna do emergency. This is ridiculous, y'all. Double maxi is ridiculous. Double maxi is as ridiculous as it gets. We're gonna go ahead and get a hard hydrant out. All right. The, the triple maxi. Triple maxi, y'all. This is... This is... um Master duel for you. Yeah. Go ahead and activate that. That's ridiculous. Triple maxi. We could banish it out the way. Well, let's wait. We had full combo too if it hadn't been for that maxi. Let's just activate it. Guys, guys, this is just, I mean, this is truly something special. This is truly something special, y'all. This is something special. All right. Okay, they're going for emergency. That's interesting. That's interesting. We're getting rid of the... Uh, obviously, we're going to get rid of the... Um, Rescue Ace cards. And they're face down. He can activate something else. Okay, I was about to say. I think we win, right? Like, even if he has Turbulence here, we can just banish him out the way. I guess he can activate Emergency, which would make sense. So that means he has Turbulence in hand, probably, but he can't banish anything for him. So even if he has Turbulence, he doesn't have any cards to banish here because we just got rid of them. So he has Turbulence and Emergency in hand. So we win. Yeah, okay. Wait, what are you able to get rid of? Let's see what he's trying to get. I guess he doesn't have turbulence. And oh, he's going to be able to still do two cards. That is ridiculous. He is still this. That's ridiculous. Oh, no, he won't be able to do two cards. He had turbulence in hand. He had Turbulence in hand. All right, we'll be able to get rid of it. Um, guys, he this he was like, like literally the game was trying to help him win. That's kind of nuts. All right, we'll be able to banish him if he activates the effect. I think, can, I, can he, wait, can he be targeted? Oh, does Swamp, does uh, the Swamp actually help him here? Let's find out. Does Mud Dragon help him here? Let's find out. We'll find out. Mud Dragon does help him here. That's ridiculous. That is ridiculous. I, I can't. Like, I'm in awe. I am in awe right now. I am in awe. <laughs> the man drew in a turbulence. Super poly. Oh, just whatever. Whatever. There's sometimes where Master Duel just decides who's going to win a match. Fortunate for me, that's, that's me. If you guys didn't catch that. It's actually me. All right. We're not completely out of luck here. 
Okay, I'll take it. That's actually a decent draw. All right. Okay. The fact, too, that he was able to get out Mud Dragon with Super Poly, like, all of it is just insane. All of it is insane. All right, he's used his first one. We actually have a special summon here. And then we can go o Lion, so we still have chances. Okay. We're still pretty good. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and activate this. And I think the best one to set. Okay. Dang it, I should have played Hydrant first. That way I could have actually played that. Um, so that's on me. Alright, let's go ahead and activate this. That way he worries about negating the effect. Yeah, let's do this. I think we still have this if we're careful enough. The o line in my hand is going to have to go hard. Okay, he's activated the second one. That's good. All right. We'll go ahead and do those two. Let's go ahead and activate this. Yep, let's go ahead and activate this. Let's activate this. And let's bring back um, Cash Tira. Fenrir. And we're going to go into the battle phase. Oh, actually, I could activate this. Yeah, let's activate it. Why not? Go ahead and bring Scareclaw Cash. Go into the battle phase. We're going to activate this. This is forcing out of stuff. Keep in mind, so y'all don't know this, but we can go Tomahawk or we can go Aurora Dawn, depending on what he decides to do here. Because he can still get out of Book of Moon. All right, we're going Tomahawk. We got to hurry because we're running out of time. And this guy is up. We gotta hurry. We are running out of time here. All right, we kind of need him to activate um, his cards now. So we're gonna go into Unicorn here. Let's go. We just win, baby. We're gonna go into Unicorn. He was gonna be forced to activate his card. Then we go into Aurora Dawn. So, um, GG's to the opponent, y'all. That is another live match. That is actually going... That, that's a mirror match there. And the opponent had everything. The opponent got to go full combo. They had super poly. They had triple maxi. And yet, still, we win because we are too good. <laughs> Alrighty, y'all. And here is the replay. Uh, just one replay real fast. We did open up full combo here as well. Um, but I, I, I held off on the cross out in case they had a maxi. I could have negated this, but I was scared they'd have a max C, so I let it get negated. So we baited out one negate here. I went ahead and did this and got a uh, Diabell Star. Went ahead and activated this, brought out and set the spell card. Of course, we activated it so that we can get our, our Hydrant out. Uh, with Hydrant, we went ahead and did our search. 
uh, went ahead and searched for lifter. It's normal summon lifter. They ashed this. Now this I did want to go through, so I did cross it out. Uh, went ahead and got crossed out. I got went ahead and got rescue here. Uh, activated uh, emergency. Sent lifter. Brought our boss monster out, and then they nibbed us, y'all. Anyway, it doesn't matter. We go ahead and do rescue. We bring back our turbulence, our big boss monster here. We go ahead and search all of our spells and traps that we can. So we go ahead and set um, rescue. We go ahead and set contain. And then we set emergency. We already have, of course, the extinguisher in our hand. So here, this isn't bad. We go ahead and activate rescue immediately. We bring out extinguisher. Um, and then it's the opponent's turn. What are they going to play? They actually have Diabell Star. And then they're able to send Poplar as well to the grave for the cost, which is ridiculous. So anyways, uh, they go ahead and do this. They're able to then bring this as a continuous spell. I don't know why they selected that one. They go ahead and set their um, spell card here. They activate it wanting to set our monster. I use emergency. Go ahead and get it out of the way. And I think we... we oh, no. We actually bring out... Um, no, we bring out another Turbulence. So we go ahead and bring out Turbulence and we send Turbulence. And so now they did nothing there. Uh, they go ahead and do this so that they can go into um, their Dark Charmer. We go ahead and activate this so they can't use it as material. They can't activate its effect and they can't attack. They do this to go ahead and bring out Snake Eye Ash. We go ahead and uh, activate Extinguish, making it uh, impossible for them to use the card now. So we destroy it. The effect can't be activated. They get to still do a search here. They haven't activated this effect. So they're able to just play it. At this point, we don't have anything. They activate it. They're able to bring back this uh, this field spell. They go ahead and play the field spell, um, being able to do this. Then they link into Link Karibo, and then they're not really able to do anything there. Um, so that's pretty much it. Um, it's our turn. They think that we don't have any plays. We draw into Rescue HHQ. Go ahead and activate Rescue Ace HQ. We go ahead and put all these in attack. We activate Emergency to set our trap. And we're just going to get advantage again here. But they give up because they know it's pointless. They're not going to be able to do anything. We just auto win GG's. Um, we're going to be able to set one of the trap cards. And we have Extinguish on the on the board. So we're just going to be able to activate it. And so the opponent gave up. Rest th This deck, I'm sorry. It's it's crazy. It's it's disgusting crazy. Um, I know I made the comment about you know Rescue Ace and Snake Eyes. But I'm playing it too. And I've been feeling it. I've been feeling like I just get everything. Let's go ahead and get into the deck profile here's the deck profile y'all it's a 43 card deck now hear me out before you're like ew auroradon y'all it's a machine deck like use what you can in its proper deck like okay so we got uh two hydrants i would probably do three i just don't have the urs for them i would actually go three i don't have the urs three maxis because you have to uh oh lion y'all because we do the Aurora Dawn line here, and not just that, but Aurora Lion in hand actually goes hard, kind of like on that match where you saw the live match. Even if they had outed my stuff, I would have normal summoned Olion, gone into Borg Block, or got the token out, and we still would have gotten two negates out and two very strong monsters, along with um, Barone, which would have popped the card. So it's just crazy. Uh, three Ash Blossoms, three Lifters, because this is your one card combo, probably the the one the, that's the card you want to open. That or Hydrant. Um, Fenrir Cash Chira because we do run the level 7. They're also extenders to be able to do uh, other stuff that we want in our extra deck. They're also bait for um, for hand traps. They're just really strong. I don't see why you wouldn't play them, especially, you know, giving three cards away. In the If you want a 40 card deck, for, for three more cards, you got the Cash Chira engine, which is nice. I mean, you saw we were able, depending on what they did, it, it actually assisted us a lot in that live match. Uh, Rescue Ace engine. This card... Really, the only reason I have it is because it is a level 7. It'll let us go into Tomahawk with any of the other level 7s, that Bellstar or the or the Unicorn or the uh, Fenrir or the uh, Kashtira Scareclaw. Um, not just that, though, but, I mean, its effect is kind of... It's okay. It's just good, but you don't need a... You don't, like, absolutely need it. That's why you only have it at 1. It's ideal if it's there. If not, you know, it's it's not the end of the world. The Again, the, uh, the small Kashtira package, I think it's 5 cards... Um, we got Diabell Star, which is also a level seven, y'all, which can get you into again Tomahawk. So you got Diabell Star, you got the Kashira engine, you got Rescue Ace engine. That's that's double engine. Anyways, it's just really good. They're free special summons, and then they can be something else to get additional negates on your board. Uh, we just have it at one. We don't want more than them. We really don't care. A uh, Rescue Ace Preventer is a really good card. We do have that at two because that's pretty much a Book of Moon with its effect. You, it's a free extender too if you want it to be. Rescue Ace Turbulence, really just two. I don't, you don't really need three because these cards are searchable. Um, but two do come. I mean, as you saw, two do come in handy and they and it, it does happen a lot. 
the one nibiru uh, that's just for the cross out and then of course so that we have it we do have zafraxi which can be a brick we do have that for the the aurora dawn line uh, we do have the original sinful spoils that's so that you get your hydrant from the deck uh, rescue uh, ace hq really the biggest thing here is it can be an extra extender because of the extra normal summon uh, but it, uh, really what it's there for is to recycle your cards after you use them so that you have follow-up again uh cash tier of birth because again if you draw into the level seven monsters you automatically have um tomahawk combo um and then you also have the effect where you can uh banish cards face down from the grave which came in handy in that live match where you saw I was able to get those three, those two Rescue Ace cards out so they couldn't activate Turbulence's effect. Now, they did have Emergency where they had to do it, but they didn't get to get me twice there. So it it came in handy there, as you saw. Called by the Grave, of course, for the Max C. Cross out Designator. We have several targets for it. Max C, Called by Nibiru, uh, Imperm. Um, and then we run Rescue Ace cards ourselves. And a lot of people are running Rescue Ace cards, so we can also negate that with that. You know, people are running all these cards, so we can... Uh, use uh, we can use cross out for a lot more than we have the ash targets but we can use it for a lot more than that because we're running cards that a lot of people are using in rank right now uh rescue because it's super strong i think two is fine i don't think you want three three is just a bit much um i think two is going to be good emergency one card combo you want to draw into these emergency isn't just good for the one card combo it's the out to imperm if you get impermed you can move your monster out the way bring another monster you can use it to activate um preventer's effect for example um you can you can use it for just so much it's great of course the wanted because we want to get Diabell star it's a one card combo two Diabell stars a one card combo lifters a one card combo hydrants a one card combo heck even cashier unicorn in the right situations can be a one card combo um 1.5 let's say 1.5 card combo there because i mean any 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 super special summon monster plus a lion is at least two negates on board so even if a lion's in your hand um, it's it's two negates on board and then if it lines in your hand and then you have a way to get into the aurora dawn line then it's a draw three and two negates it's a two negates and a draw three if a line is in your hand uh so a lot of people think a line in the hand might be bad uh-uh it's a draw three and two negates or if you get well, at least one special summon and a line then you get at least uh two at least two negates there at least just two negates there um you know that's like a worst case scenario super good the one imperm um you could change some of these cards around and put in perm at three i'm okay with having it at one um one contain one extinguish because you're able to recycle those and then you don't want them more than one because they are bricks if you can't get into your rescue ace uh, combos uh nine pillars because you guys know i i have a special place for nine pillars it's one of the strongest negates there is being able to return a monster to the opponent's deck is huge it's a free i mean it's a free two negates if you if you can get the engine off so um we do have the tg hyper librarian if you guys know my previous decks we have the draw three to negate combo super easy to pull off so that's why that's there uh dang long we have zeta because sometimes it'll come up where you'll have a lion and then you'll end with you'll end with tg hyper librarian on the board so you're able to go into zeta that's an extra uh monster banish so this deck doesn't run abc obviously but it's kind of an abc effect which is cool um Borlode savage dragon for the negate we have xl start the reason we we have both of these is because i like to have the choice if i can go into savage dragon if i have enough space in the back row then i'll go into savage dragon but usually i don't have enough space in the back row because of the spells and traps because of the rescue ace cards then we'll go into barone we'll go into xl synchron stardust dragon then we'll bring back the level two tuner then we'll go into barone and that way we don't have to use up any space in the back row the galaxy tomahawk doesn't come up a lot but it is an option and it's a very good option too also um can help with baits of hand traps we do have the link karibo in case we got to get a monster out if we have like preventer and we can kind of do an effect there um doesn't come up a lot but i like to be able to have the option in case we got to get one of these monsters out of the way uh to be able to activate maybe one of these graveyard effects uh ip mascarena just because we can go into the sprite elf uh, uh with ip mascarena and then we can have an ip mascarena in the grave as an additional um disruption on the opponent's turn a uh, borg blocker because sometimes you will end on with the warrior or something else like a, a cashier card that isn't a machine and board blocker will help us get that one machine and that non-machine to then be able to go into aurora dawn or sprite elf targeting protection being able to bring it back ip masquerade on the opponent's turn this will let us bring back our level two tuner on our turn to be able to do the draw three combo with tg hyper librarian nightmare unicorn to be able to spin of course when we have the ip masquerade aurora dawn enough said the aurora dawn line we do have a alpalooza because we can go into alpalooza once we bring back IP Mascarena as like a worst case scenario and then access code for game, 
Uh, all of these cards can be tweaked. There's just so many different versions of this deck, but I think to me, this is very versatile because you can be you can go through a lot of disruptions. You're able to kind of mess with the opponent. They're not going to know. For example, you think they're going to expect Tomahawk in in uh, in Rescue Ace? I don't think so. They probably won't even expect Auroradon in Rescue Ace. But their machine deck, I mean, their machine cards. I don't see why you would not run Auroradon. And you might think a lot of people might think. Well, you don't have the the uh, the space for it or the cards for it. Of course you do. You could even use turbulence to go. You can go into Aurorodon and then you can bring back your hydrant with rescue um, on on your turn. Um, you can bring back. You can yeah. You can bring him back with rescue on your turn, and then you're fine. I think we're missing a spell card here though. I might have messed something up here. Okay, so it was a lurk that I was missing. I, I remember I took it out because I didn't. I I never found a need for it like ever. I have enough extenders in the deck. I don't need to extend even more. Um, I just, I never found a need for it. Anyways, y'all, this is the deck list. Usually for the end board, um, you end with at least um, three disruptions for sure. At least three disruptions, two Omni Negates, and then whatever hand traps you're going to have in your hand. And then you might end up with, the, you might end up actually with three disruptions, two Omni Negates, and a draw three. Or even if on a small board, you might have just the cashier cards on the board. You can banish from the grave and then still end with three disruptions, which is huge. Like, it's massive. So, And then the hand trap's in your hand. So the deck is extremely good. I'm going to use it. I'm a machine. You know, I like to play machine decks. And uh, this is pretty cool. So uh, this is one of the decks I'm going to main. Hopefully you all like it. Let me know in the comment section if you have any other advice, any other recommendations. If you think the deck is horrible. I really like the criticism because it only helps the deck get better. Thank you all so much. Again, don't, like, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And I'll catch you all in the next video. Don't forget the Masochist series is out, y'all. Please go watch that. I'll link it somewhere right here.